While diabetes and hypertension are often linked to chronic kidney disease, there are other health complications that can develop due to reduced kidney function. I have chronic anemia. With that, you have great fatigue and uh, lots of problems with that. So you just try to manage everything as it, as it comes on. The general feeling was no malaise. I had no energy and the hemoglobin was way down. And I would get up in the morning and have breakfast and take a nap. It starts out with just bone pain, joint pain. It's kind of like arthritis. Anemia and bone disease are essentially side effects of having decreased kidney function. People that have chronic kidney disease uh, will often have issues with one or both of these uh, diseases. Reduced kidney function can result in a decreased amount of red blood cells. This condition is called anemia. People can often feel fatigued if they have a lower hemoglobin or if they are anemic because they essentially just have less oxygen carrying capacity. But fatigue isn't the only symptom of anemia. Make sure you talk to your doctor if you experience any of these symptoms. Dizziness, headaches, loss of sex drive, inability to concentrate, shortness of breath. Anemia can be a serious condition, but it is treatable. There are um, erythropoietin uh, agents that are used that can be given uh, currently in injection form. People often need supplemental iron to help as iron is a very important part of building red blood cells as well. In addition to anemia, CKD patients often suffer from bone disease, which can cause bone brittleness and pain. Bone disease and chronic kidney disease is often asymptomatic in its early stages. We will order simple blood tests to screen them to see if they have a bone-related disease already from their chronic kidney disease. A simple blood test, one of which is a phosphorus, the other is uh, intact PTH, parathyroid hormone, and the other is a, a type of vitamin D level that we will check. If testing determines abnormal levels of these substances, your healthcare provider may recommend several treatment options, including a low phosphorus diet, calcium supplements, vitamin D supplements, or medications called phosphate binders. You don't realize how bad it is until you start taking something that makes it better and then you get up one day and it's like, wow, I can walk and it's so much less painful. When kidney function is impaired, it can cause problems that may seem unrelated to CKD. The most important thing you can do is talk to your healthcare provider to be sure that issues with anemia and bone disease are detected early and treated properly. For more information about anemia, bone disease, and CKD, visit the websites on your screen.